Hi, this is Deacon Larry, and this is Renewed. Over the next few weeks in Renewed, and perhaps over the months beyond that, we'd like to introduce you to some of the folks who have been in this journey with us here at St. Teresa. What we know in their life story is everyone will tell you in some way, this is about how I have been renewed. Religion is its slowly starting to play a bigger role in my everyday life to the point where one of the biggest things that we've done recently during Lent is me and my fiance, we just started praying before every single meal that we eat together. So usually it's just supper at the end of the day, but just taking, you know, 30 seconds to say the prayer before we eat, even if we're in public too, to just take that time to just do it. So re it, religion has gone from playing a very minuscule par portion of my life early on to now it's, it's becoming a daily part of my life. Uh, another thing that I try to do to also keep religion being a daily part of my life is I like to listen to a lot of Catholic influencers that are out there. So people like Bishop Barron, Father Mike Schmidt, these have been people that have been just, I, I, can't, I can't say enough about how foundational they've been in me coming to the Catholic Church. If it wasn't for these men and the videos that they put out, I don't think I would have been as willing to go to the Catholic Church. So also just trying to find Catholic entertainment out there as well. So I think that's a big thing. Just because, especially in the society we live in, like it's if you don't go out and specifically look for religious content, you're, you're just not gonna find it. I mean, that's what I've found, at least in my journey, is if I'm not specifically looking up Catholic priests answer to such and such question, then I'm just never gonna really get those videos in my YouTube feed. I'm never gonna see those TV shows that I might have explored, or I'm never gonna see movies, like for example, like the new movie that just came out, Father Stu. I saw him promote it on Father Mike Schmidt. I saw Mark Wahlberg do that. I had no idea that movie was even coming out until I watched a Father Mike Schmidt video where he interviewed Mark Wahlberg. If I wouldn't have taken time to watch those YouTube videos, I never would have even known about it. And now it's a movie that I'm planning on going to see this weekend. It's a movie that I'm really excited about. So re religion went from playing a very small role in my life to now it plays, I, I try to get it to play a bigger role, but I would say it is a daily thing in my life at this point. Something I want to try doing over the summer because I'm a teacher is I'd like to try attending some of the weekly masses or to even try and maybe go to daily mass at least one week. I think that's something that I would really enjoy, something that I haven't had the opportunity to do. But I think it would help me in my faith journey also to just see this as not a once a week kind of thing, to see it as this is how I live my life. Going into my confession, I was absolutely terrified. I, you know, to go in there as a grown man and to have to confess some of the things that I've done over the course of my life. It was terrifying. But what I would say also is this, is that as I was sitting there getting ready to go in, there was a young boy there who was probably in the second grade with his father. And to kind of have that contrast, to see you know this young man who's doing his first confession as well as me doing my first confession, I think that gave me a lot of confidence and a lot of strength to go in there. You know, if this eight-year-old kid can go give a confession, what is stopping me? So I was, I felt, I felt terror in that moment, and then once I got through the confession, I, it was nothing but happiness. So, going through all of Holy Week, from Holy Thursday to Easter itself on Sunday, was just an amazing journey. Good Friday, I've told several people about this, but the Good Friday Mass that I attended, was, was it was one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had. To be a part of carrying in the cross, to sing songs such as Were You There? and to just really think about what it is that Jesus gave for us. And to truly think about this is the saddest day in all of human history. You know, we literally killed God incarnate and we still have hope. We still have that hope of the resurrection that's coming. So, and I, and I think that's kind of parallels kind of well to how I approach the sacraments too. I was terrified at first. But once I got through it, once I, you know, I, I felt a weight off of my chest as I came to my Easter vigil. And then when I got to partake in confirmation and then also finally first communion, those were both just amazing moments. And I had to go back the next day and rewatch the videos because I kind of wanted to relive it just a little bit to just not let that moment fade. But it, it is truly something that I'll never forget. 
The biggest thing that I want others to know about my faith is that it's something that pushes me to be a better person. It pushes me to strive to improve myself and to have a better relationship with those around me. I think that's the biggest thing that I was missing before I came to the Catholic Church. I was kind of okay with how my life was going. I was kind of content with everything. But after, after these last several months in my faith journey that I've been on, I truly do feel like I have a, a church that pushes me to improve myself. Um, one of the things that I, I hear a lot of people say about the Catholic Church is that it's nice to have a church that has so much tradition and tells you when you might be in the wrong. To have that tradition and to have those wiser, older people there that can guide you through the life journey. I, I truly, I truly love that and I, I just want other people to understand that about my faith. You know, especially Catholicism, I think people have this negative view of it. But that's, that's not what the Catholic Church has been for me at all. It has been something that has improved me as a person. It's improved me as a, a fiance. It's improved me as a son. So, you know, to go from being very angry at my parents about not letting me explore religion to now I, I've been able to forgive them and accept that maybe they had their own bad, bad interactions with their own churches that might have led them down that path. So. I just hope people, when they see me, when they hear me talk about my faith, that's what they take away from it, is that it's something that's pushing me to be a better man. The biggest reasons that I'd give for people to turn to Catholicism is that it is, especially if you are already a part of a Christian denomination, if you already believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the thing that really drew me to Catholicism is that this is the original church. This is the church that traces itself back all the way to the apostles, all the way to the original church. Another thing that I really like about the Catholic Church is the sense of community. So the the knowledge that even if I leave St. Teresa, if I move out to the suburbs, or if I move to another city, I can find another parish, I can interact with that parish, and I can get involved. No matter where I go in the world, no matter what part of the country I'm in, what part of the world, there's a parish that exists that I can join and I can, com I can be a part of. So the community's already there. You've just gotta come and join it and you've gotta put in the effort. And I think especially for young people, that's something that's kind of difficult for us to take that first step, to go to mass every Sunday, and then once you're at Mass, afterwards, don't just go right out to your car. Take the time to ask the old lady next to you, hey, how are you doing? I, I tell everybody all the time, I have been blown away with how nice the older parishioners are here. Th the time that they will take out of their day to just talk to you and learn about you as a person. You know, they, I have not once had a negative experience with an older person at a parish. Every time I've taken the time to be open with them, they've been just beyond receptive to me. God bless anybody that's going on their own journey. Uh, don't be off put. Um, if someone like myself that was raised pretty much completely secular with pretty much no religious experience can find God, then I, I really don't think that there's any, that there's, that there's no reason anybody can't do that. I think anybody can go on this journey. It's just, you've got to take that leap of faith. You've got to go to mass. You've got to, get down on your knees in the pew and you've got to genuinely pray and you've got to genuinely believe it. Uh, you, you know, and that was something that was difficult for me to go with to mass with my fiance and to sit down and to actually pray. But once I did that, I, I will never forget sitting in St. Teresa and praying in one of the pews and I vividly remember having a memory come back to me of one of my childhood friend's dads telling me, Hey, Zach, you know, I know you don't believe in God or whatever, but I'm going to pray for you that someday maybe you'll get to experience that. And to have that memory come back to me vividly as I was praying in the church, that was something that just, I knew I couldn't turn back from that moment on. I knew that I had to keep going with this, that I had been going down this journey for the last 25 years for a reason. You know, it's not just the last two years when I started to join the church that matter. It's all those 25 that really matter because that's what's, that's what set me up for this moment. So I think that's the biggest thing I would say is just keep pushing. If you, if you have your doubts, that's okay. I absolutely had my doubts, but I was able to get through it and I, I truly believe anybody else can. God bless you wherever you may be on your journey and good luck on it. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.